Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Now, if you're new here, typically I make videos on venomous snakes, such as this beautiful saw scale viper right here. But even when I'm doing videos like this, which is on Hawaii's wildlife, invasive wildlife, um, I still have snakes out, so it's enjoyable to watch. But yeah, as I said, today's video is gonna be on the invasive species of Hawaii. Ever since Hannah and I got back from our honeymoon in Hawaii, I've been enjoying making these videos, showing you the trip. Um, you should check those videos out. And now I'd like to do one on the invasive species. So before we even get to any of that, if this is something you'd enjoy, please subscribe. Before we even begin about the invasive species, let's talk about Hawaii and where it is. Now it's one of the most isolated archipelagos on earth. An archipelago is a group of islands. So as you can see here, it's very isolated. Now due to this, it creates a unique biodiversity and it reflects in its wildlife. Like for instance, there's no native land mammals besides the Hawaiian horay bat, and these are rarely seen. But even with that being the case, the near shore waters provides habitat for a lot of marine mammals, such as whales, dolphins, and a native animal to Hawaii, the Hawaiian monk seal. They're endangered. Hannah and I tried forever to find one, but we did not find one. We're on the hunt for Hawaiian monk seals. Nothing but rocks yet. Are you feeling lucky? And Hawaii is also home to many seabird species and endemic forest birds that are found nowhere else on earth. And this is the type of thing, this is why invasive species can cause massive problems. So these birds are not found anywhere else on earth. So if there's invasive species that are harming these birds, that's it. Once they're wiped out, they're wiped out for good. And also Hawaii is home to several species of sea turtles. And the most common being the green sea turtle, which is what Hannah and I saw. And we'll talk more about that in another video because I want to do a separate video on sea turtles. All right, now moving on to the invasive species. Now I have this variable bush viper. Put the saw scale viper away. She's old, don't want to stress her out too much. So I think it goes without saying, but we're going to go over it anyways. When we're talking about native animals, we're talking about animals that are found there naturally. Found in a certain environment, a certain place in the world, naturally. It's where they're from. When we talk about invasive species, these are introduced organisms that have established populations in a new location that causes harm negatively to the environment, to the natural wildlife, to natural agriculture, all that stuff. Now on Hawaii, there's thousands of species that fall into this category of invasive species. And the ones I'm gonna talk about in this video are only the ones Hannah and I saw, so very few and we're excluding plants because there's many invasive plants as well. And Hawaii, again, being an island, uh, it's very important for things to be natural. Uh, so these invasive animals are causing drastic harm to the environment, to the natural resource. The most common ones that we saw were the geckos, the day geckos, uh, green anoles, brown anoles, some frogs, uh, mongoose, Indian mongoose, and feral cats. Tons of these everywhere. I'm gonna show footage of all these animals. Starting with the day gecko. Thousands, literally everywhere we went. Check out these footage. everywhere and again the reason these are problems they obviously have established populations exploding populations and what they do is they're going to outcompete with native animals eating insects 
another native animal eating that that's targeting that same insect they can't they're not as good as the day gecko they're gonna not survive um, they even can predate on native animals as well pretty much gonna be the same with the green anole these green anoles are native to southeastern United States Here's some footage of them, tons of them. Like I said, negatively impacting by outcompeting with native species, wiping out native insects, things like that. Now the brown anole, native to Cuba and the Bahamas. I didn't see as many of these as the compared to the green anole or the day geckos, but there are still a lot of them. Walking on the beach on Oahu, in Oahu, Hannah and I saw tons of them. Again, out competing, wiping out native insects, things like that. Come close. You got it? The frogs and toads, same thing. Do you see it? And the Indian mongoose. Now, a thing I didn't mention is typically these introduced animals, there there's a reason for them being introduced. Uh, the reason is beneficial, or at least that's the intended purpose. But it also the harm always outweighs the benefits. Now, the Indian mongoose was introduced to keep rats out of the crops, but rats are only a small portion of the mongoose's diet, and they're opportunistic feeders, so they'll eat small birds, uh, small mammals, eggs of animals, and think about the sea turtle, endangered sea turtle coming on land, laying eggs, and their eggs getting wiped out by an invasive species. It's definitely a problem. And like I mentioned earlier, uh, the endemic uh, forest bird species, only found here in Hawaii. They're eating the baby birds. It's gonna cause problems. Once they're wiped out, they're gone for good. him cleaning himself. He's on his back.
although they were cool to see, uh, it's still it's sad to know that the Hawaii is littered with invasive species. And when we're talking about invasive species, we need to be able to talk about it openly and be real about it. Uh, so the next animal, the feral cats, is one that we need to be real about. They're all over every part of the earth. And the thing about them is um, they're not natural animals. They're domesticated. So there's an extra layer to the damage they cause. So not only are they wiping out animals, native animals, even to extinction, um, they're also toxic to the environment. Their feces has disease that's harming the environment, harming other animals as well. Toxic plasmosis. Uh, there's so many of them. Check out this footage. Isn't that insane? There's so many of them. And this is just one area. There was so many areas like this, tons of cats, food left out for them. So yeah, it's sad to see, but again, it all falls on human error, lack in judgment. But yeah, we need to do better. The environment, ecosystems are delicate and they rely on the native wildlife, native ecosystem working in order to maintain themselves and be healthy. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next one on sea turtles. Love you guys. Please subscribe. Once I'm done with this, these videos, I'm gonna take some video suggestions and just go back to the venomous snake stuff. Love you guys. Y'all are the best.